Thank you for downloading this Real Agriculture podcast. Next thing you know, you know the next thing. Next is Now is a short podcast discussing agriculture's emerging next-gen tech and trends as they're happening in our industry. Next is Now, presented by GFL Ag. Listen where you get your podcasts today. Werner Tobin here at the Commodity Classic in Houston, Texas. I'm over at John Deere now looking at the new S7 Series Combines with Bergen Nelson. Bergen, how's it going? Pretty exciting week. It's going great. We're here at Commodity Classic, like you said. We're introducing our Model Year 25 S7 Combine. Yeah, hey, um, lots to talk about here, but it really does start with the engine. Yeah, it definitely starts with the engine, and that's one of the new exciting features that we are bringing on the new S7 Combine. On the S7 600 and 700, we're bringing a new Gen 2 9 liter. And on that S7-700, that engine's gonna bring up to a 10 horsepower bump. And then on the S7-800 and S7-900, we're bringing a 13.6 liter engine, which is commonly found on our X9 combine. And these engines are bringing improved fluid efficiency or fuel efficiency to our customers, reducing their overall fuel costs, because we know that impacts their bottom line. Now overall, now you got four new S7 models ranging from you know 330 horsepower to 543. Um, have I got it all? Yeah, that's right. So four new models with the new S series, the S7, starting with the 600, 700, 800, and 900. And then don't forget, we also have our X9 combine, X9 1000, and X9 1100. Yeah. Now, um, Harvest always you know, begins with residue management the previous fall. Tell us about the changes you've made here. Yeah, so when we went to redesign the S7 combine, we truly did look at its big brother, X9. And we're bringing over that premium Powercast tailboard that customers have have become to love on that machine. And that tailboard is a mechanical drive and also allows our customers to finally cut their residue and distribute that evenly across all the way up to 45 feet on the new S7 combine. And being a mechanical drive and equipped with straight blade knives on the chopper paired with our new engines, we're bringing up to 10% improvement in fluid efficiency, reducing the overall fuel costs, making it a more efficient harvester. Now, um, you've updated the grain handling and loss sensing systems. Hey, tell us about that. Yeah, so that's another exciting thing that we brought over from the X9 combine. When we talk about grain handling, we're talking about bringing cross auger shutoffs to the S series, a feature that customers have been asking us to bring to this machine for a long time. So that when the augers stop in the grain tank, we can empty out the unloading auger not carrying all that weight around in the unloading auger. Yeah. We're also bringing the adjustable unloading auger spout, and the customers can change that and move it from within a reconfigurable button on the hydro handle inside the cab. So awesome updates to grain handling. We switch over to grain loss sensing. We're bringing a new grain loss sensing system to the S7, and bringing additional sensors, and it'll be three times, up to three times more accurate than the previous S-Series model. And with that grain lossing sensing technology, the customers will be able to see that right on the G5 Plus display, being able to make quick reactions based off of the grain loss they're seeing. Yeah. Hey, um, let's talk about the cab. You're billing this as the the corner office comfort. Um, you know, what are growers going to see when they when they climb up? Yeah. So bringing over a new cab to the S7 combine, more comfort, more visibility, more heat to the feet. We're giving them a new seat with air conditioning and heat, massaging. We're bringing technology into the cab with a G5 Plus display, an integrated 7500 receiver, bringing a JD Link modem in there, allowing them to stream their data to Operations Center. Overall, it's a super comfortable cab. I've spent time in there myself, and it's hard to get out. Yeah. Hey, uh, final thing, you know, you've added some, uh, a series of automation settings here to help keep operators focused. Tell us about those. Yeah, so one of the most exciting things that we are bringing on the new S7 is around our harvest automation technology. The first one is predictive ground speed automation, where we're using cameras on the front of the cab that looks out 28 feet in front of the cutter bar. Those cameras are measuring crop height and crop density. We're taking that also with satellite imagery provided through Operations Center. And with those two layers, we can proactively speed up and slow down the combine based off of the varying yield within the field. And the whole reason we're doing that is so that we can maximize the throughput and capacity of the harvesters, making them more efficient, keeping them at max throughput throughout the entire day. 
This, the second automation feature we're bringing is harvest settings automation, and that is a system that will automatically adjust the five main combine settings based off of operator input. And with these technologies, it's bringing up to 20% productivity increase to our customers' operations. Hey, final question, Bergen, and that is uh, availability. When are growers going to be rolling with these? Yep, model year 25, and if growers have questions on these machines, they can contact their local John Deere dealer or go to johndeere.com. Great stuff, Bergen. Appreciate you making some time for real agriculture here at Commodity Classic. You're welcome. Glad to be here, and thanks for stopping by our booth.